So welcome back to semi-finals day here at the Daihatsu Yonix Japan Open in the wonderful Olympic venue. In a year's time, the Valentine competition will be in day three. Well underway. Well, it's semi-finals day here this year at the Japan Open and just two more semi-finals to come and they're both the men's doubles semi-finals. The first one features home players Takeshi Komura and Keigo Sonoda, the World Championship silver medalists looking to reach their first final here at their home event. They're up against Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sediawan, the two-time former world champions and winners of this title back in 2013. They're looking to reach their third final here at the Japan Open as a pair. So when we look at the men's doubles draw from the quarterfinal stage, six different nationalities, two pairs from Japan, two from Indonesia, five seeds, including the top four. And the top four seeds, as you can see, have made it through to the semi-final stage. And that's the first time it has ever happened here at the Japan Open since seeding records began in 2000. The top four seeds through to the semi-finals. I can tell you it only happened three times in Super Series and five times in Grand Prix Gold events. And only the second time it's ever happened at a World Tour event after the Singapore Open this year. So having the top four seeds through to the semi-final stage of the men's doubles is a real rarity and a real treat for us. So I'm sure the home fans will be eagerly looking forward to the World Championship silver medalist Kishi Komura and Keigo Sonoda. <laughs> up against the reigning All England champions Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. <laughs> so the arena plunged into darkness as we wait to welcome the players onto court, the first of the men's doubles semi-finals. It is the two-time former world champions, the winners of the Japan Open six years ago, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, beaten in the final a year after they won the title. And for each of these players today, they are contesting their sixth Japan Open semi-final. Beaten in the final a week ago at the Indonesia Super 1000, but they won the first Super 1000 of the year, the All England Championships. What a year they've been having. Takeshi Kamora and Keigo Sonoda. in their second semi-final here at the Japan Open. Three years after their first, but this is their ninth appearance as a pair at their home event. Bronze medals in the World Championships two years ago, a silver medal last year in Nanjing. So two World Championship medals, just one more needed and the colour gold to complete the full set. This is the sixth meeting the between these two pairs Red and of the previous black. five. Red. Red. Yeah. It is Hassan and Setia one who hold Red. the advantage, having won three of them. Side. But the last time they met was the Hassan final sure. 
of the Singapore Open, which Kamora and Sonoda won in 51 minutes, 21-17 in the deciding game. My goodness me, if we have a semi-final today, which is half as good as that final in Singapore earlier this year, we are in for a real treat. So both these pairs so experienced. Mohamed Hassan was in two finals with Borna Septeno, 2008 and 2011. So he's already contested five finals. He wants to make it five, though. He's 31 years of age now from Palambang in South Sumatra. His uh, partner, Hendra Setia, won, won the title here in 2009 with Marcus Kido. He's going to be turning 35 next month. And as you can see, they have been former world number ones, 38 consecutive weeks from the 21st of November 2013. So looking at their matches so far, Lamsfus and Seidel, two games in the first round. Then teammates went the full distance uh, against Pancariyarari, Nidra and Santosa in the second round. Then it was a battle of the former world champions because the 2014 world champions, Go Sung Hyung and Shin Bek Chul, they needed three games against them. I have to say, it's lovely to see Ko and Shin and all the Korean men's doubles pairs that did at one stage retire. Lovely to see them back. Takeshi Gamora is 29 years of age, as indeed is his partner. They are currently a number three in the world ranking, but did spend 15 weeks in total across three different spells as world number twos. Keigo Sonoda, 29, from Yatsushiro City in Kumamoto Prefecture. And as I was telling you, their ninth appearance as a pair and only their second semi-final. When we look at their path through to today's semi-final, Latif and Azarin of Malaysia, three games needed there. And then Li and Wang from Chinese Taipei, a pair that only formed their partnership earlier this year, but have already contested five finals in 2019. Then in the quarterfinal, it was the Commonwealth Games silver medalists, Sakwik Sairaj, Oranki Reddy, and Shiraj Shetty. Hugely talented young pair from India. So our umpire, Chiapini from Italy, our service judge, Simberg from Denmark. So, perhaps a little nervous. Error on the practice serve from Takeshi Kamora. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Takeshi Kamura, Keigo Sonoda, Japan. And on my left, Andrea Setuan, Mohamed Hassan, Indonesia. Mohamed Hassan to serve to Takeshi Kamura. Love all. Play. So the two-time former world champions and One. former champions here, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, getting his semi-final underway against the Japanese pair of Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda.
Clever. That is most definitely their favoured formation. Mohamed Hassan at the back of the court, Hendra Setia one at the front. the longest rally I've ever had during any of the matches that I've watched today. All challenge. Very early for a challenge. Andrea Chiapini raises his left arm, which means it's a challenge and it's a very good challenge too Correction out. Service order. two three play Sonoda. For this one, Kamora and Sonoda, and I can understand why because no pair from Japan has ever won the men's doubles title here. So at the Japan that. Open, there's only one pair Five, six, from the host country eight. that's actually contested the final, and that was two years ago. Kuto Inoue and Kanako. Disguised drop shot from Six. Mohamed Hassan. Oh. But the interceptions there from Sethia one were magnificent. So too was that final drop shot. Thank you. Okay.
well, he was right to go forward, try and intercept. He had read it. There he goes. Yeah. No, just found the net, but I always think if a player is trying to do the right thing, of course he'll make mistakes at times. Can't play completely error free. It's not that type of sport. between these two pairs so far. Yeah, lovely drop shot again. That's two winners he's hit with that disguised drop to the centre of the court. Oh, it's landed in front of the service line there, indicating just how good it is. And that is absolutely superb. So three straight points. across court. This one, Nine. that was superb. Ten. And you can tell the frustration because he knew he'd done the hard work in that rally. So it so is the former champions who have the advantage at the mid-game interval. A two-point advantage against last year's World Championship silver medalists. Japanese fans should panic too much because they were down in their opening game against Ranky Reddy and Shetty yesterday. Winning it to 19. Follow, 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 huh? Come on. Follow, follow, come on. because of the excellent return of serve. combination and finally Takeshi Kamora got the opportunity at the front of the court and he made it count. Too 
wide. Nice idea. So he's over. 13, 11. Gonna go long, did Mohammed Hassan? So we're back level. That's well put away. Good angle. 14, 13. Three times world champion. He is. Because he was also world champion with Marcus Kido, apart from the two golds he won with his partner of today. Oh, look at that. And he looks so casual about it. Starts the racket swing as if it's going to be fast shot and then just checks the racket head at the last moment. It's gone wide. Oh, there's another but challenge here. Challenges go out. I fear they won't win that one. They won their first challenge. Kamora on that net shot. 16. Got the net cord. That made it almost impossible for Setia One to readjust his shot and play the return. Oh dear. So he's over. 17. 15. Well, before the match got underway, he made a service error. He made a service error oh. and trying to practice his serve while hitting the shuttle back to the Indonesians. That is just sensational. Just 18, swayed the body, 15. guided the shuttle into the open space. Look at that. A moment of magic from Hendra Setiawan. Oh, no, 
another miss from Mohamed Hassan. The last two rallies has hit one long and one into the net. And now there's just one point in it. Deficit has been closed. Well, this is amazing. Four straight points. And now two points away from the opening game. Nine yeah. No wonder. Harry Panagi scratches his head. Oh, but a good return of serve. Got the net caught. The game point opportunity is with the former champions, Hassan and Setia one. Extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. And that's a very good angled smash from a son. It means that. He and his partner have a second game point opportunity. It's gone wide. Oh, it's a challenge. Challenges go out. Well, the fact that they're going to the kit box suggests that they know it was out. It certainly looked out to me. What does Walkai say? Yeah, clearly out. So the opening game Challenge to the former champions, Mohamed Hassan game. and Hendra Setiawan. 22 20. Mohamed Hassan, Hendra Setiawan, 22 20. 19 minutes. Yeah, it was clearly wide.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. Oh, what an interesting opening game. Some fast and furious rallies and some magical skills with especially from Setia one where he just found the gaps and the drop shots from a son. Japanese pair, the number two seeds, Takeshi Kimura and Keigo Sonoda, prefer to play the fast, flat exchanges. And sometimes they're completely foxed by the delicate little block or steered shot into the open space. Play. So one game to the good, the Indonesians. One love. this year. Hey. That's gone wrong. And when I tell you that obviously they must have been in five finals already Three. this year. Love. And prior to this week, they played 10 tournaments, so that's 50% of all tournaments they've played, they've reached the final. Oh. of today in Singapore. going round the Musashino Forest Sports Plaza because they can't quite believe that the Indonesians appear dominant at the moment. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there he is again. Oh, that's about as an Seven, exuberant two. celebration as you'll ever see from... Set you one. Hendro Seti Juan. Great serve. And then Carmen leaves the fourth shot to Nine. go wide. Three. But it was his interception of the third shot that really did the damage. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my word. He's done it again. An air call from Sergio one. But the way he defended Ten. off his right hip, swaying Four. his body out of the way to give himself the freedom to play the shot. Look at that. What skills. Well, seven-point advantage for the number four seeds, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan at the mid-game interval here in the second game. There's a big space. And you can always rely on this Indonesian pair to find those gaps. Someone's looking very pessimistic as far well as Gamora and Sonoda are concerned. We are simply not able to make any inroads at the moment, not able to put enough pressure on the defensive play of Hassan and Sadiawan. Eleven to four. Play. Uh, that was a much better return of serve. Five, eleven. Into the more mid-court area. Down the tram line. Six, eleven. since the mid-game interval. Going to Kamora and Sonoda. Looking far more positive. No, but that's clever. Yeah. Smash across the body of Kamora. And he got in a muddle Whoa. on his defensive Seven. shot, and it just popped up nicely. For oh, 31 to kill at the net. There we go. That's clever play from Mohamed Hassan. say they have restored their seven point advantage seven. but they've actually extended their advantage eight point advantage now and at the moment this Japanese pair don't seem to have the answers but that will give them encouragement Nine, 
maintaining the attack. Just far too clever, isn't he? So Return of serve. 16, placed nine. so that his opponent can't get the Six. shuttle on any sort of an angle. feels they need to start their move now, this Japanese pair, if they're to please the home fans, and at the very least extend this semi-final to a deciding game. Just uh, Great awareness, great skill. A wonderful touch. 17, 10. Power. And then the placement. away from a third final here as a pair at the Japan Open. It's gone wide. Nineteen. Two points ten. needed. Well, this has been a wonderful display in the second game. Hassan and Seti won after that very close opening game. Yeah. Really just taken command of this match. Yeah. Match point opportunities. Ten of them, to be precise. Twenty. Match point. Ten. That goes long. Game. And Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan break the hearts of the home fans. They'll have to wait another year for a chance for a home pair to win the men's doubles title here at the Japan Open. Because Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan were today simply too good for the World Let's Championship silver medalists. Hassan, Hendra Setiawan, 22, 20, 21, 10. So, 35 minutes for the victory. And a very convincing victory it was, too. So for Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, a sixth final of the year in their 11th tournament of the year. And they booked their place in the final in style. 22-20, 21-10 against the World Championship silver medalists from last year. There is confirmation of that scoreline. 35 minutes and a sun and set you one into the final. <laughs>